Guess we're doing that now. you guys get shuffled like that? So we're gonna do him in third position, her in fourth position with daggers. That way he'll be able to use artillery on the back line, sacrificial stab on anyone in the front line. He'll be able to heal and he's gonna be able to mark the target at the end, the cannon or the fusilier. Plus, her daggers do extra damage to marked targets. Um... My only problem with this is she can't use Iron Swan right there. So actually, let's give her Breakthrough. This is why we have no cash, have no cash, have no cash. This is why we have no cash, and we are so poor. Can I change abilities during a fight? Oh, I wish, Liberia. Oh, I would just, I would be so happy. But no, you cannot. Which is why I kind of do this. I know this is the most boring part of the game where I just sit here and go, do I want to use this or this? But it's kind of necessary because if you go into... You can change abilities in the dungeon, but not during a fight. He needs to let the mask down. Oh my god, we're so poor. We're so poor. Camping skills. There we go. Ah, let's see here. Bear might. Thank you so much for the follow. Wow, I missed that. That was like an hour ago. Good lord. I know. Tell me about it, official. I'm like. Ah, I'm terrible. Boy, terrible. Oh, we didn't... Oops. Oh my god. We're gonna have even less than 14k in a moment here. And... Leveria177. Thank you so much for the follow right now. Excuse me, but my phone just seems to have made a lightsaber noise, and I'm confused because it's never done that before. I'm gonna put that down now. Alright, so for her, we're gonna give her this one. It causes us to consume extra food, but it gives us so many extra benefits. The biggest one is gonna be scouting in this case. If we're scouting, we're gonna have a much easier time finding out where the uh, boss is. We know where the boss is. Things are going to be easier from there. It also gives her a bunch of speed. We want her going fast. So I'm going to also want to give her some big damage, too. We're kind of going to be relying on her to get rid of the, um... The Fusilaire. A Tismarius. Sorry for killing the name, but thank you so much for the follow. I do appreciate it. Hey, everyone. While I'm, like, going through this stuff, figuring out what I want to do, I just want to let everybody know... Um, if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Tyr. I stream every single day, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we do Darkest Dungeon. Currently, we're working on our new game, Plus. And uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we play The Witcher 2. We're working through The Witcher franchise. We've worked all the way through the first game. We're making good progress in the second one, and it is a fantastic game. If you've never checked out The Witcher, you should come check it out on any of those days or check out my YouTube channel because it's some good stuff. Witcher is amazing. Now, I'm probably one of the few people who is only now, you know, 2016 finding out the Witcher is amazing. So, we need damage. We're going to be using him as a meat grinder. I'm not sure. He doesn't actually need the stress down. Yeah, let's give him a warrior's bracelet and a warrior's cap. The biggest drawback of the leper, he's got two. The first one is, if he's not in first or second position, he can do nothing. The other drawback is, his accuracy is pretty terrible overall. So we're going to give him a bonus accuracy item and a bonus damage. Raider's Talisman? Oh, I agree. I love it. Like, it is fantastic. 
great crit, great speed. Disarm and scouting chance? Like, the only drawback is bring a little more food. Now, when I tend to think of pluses and minuses in terms of gear, if I think it's good or not... You know what? We don't want stun for this. I'm gonna actually use this. Um, I tend to think about things in terms of combat efficiency. Combat effect. Like, when you look at things like... Obviously, you don't like a character who has unquiet mind, I suppose. It's easy enough to send them to a different stress relief, but there have been plenty of times where you're like, oh crap, this is all that's available, and I guess I just can't do anything with them this week. But that doesn't affect you in a combat. And so, in terms of, like, getting rid of things, you look at that and you go, that's not really that bad. Okay, one second. We are so low on money. We're gonna have to do another money run after this. Those. The shovels are a necessity. This is the wheel. I've had plenty of times where there's four or more obstructions on the way to a tree. I'm bringing more food than I would for a boss run on a medium, just because we have the raider's talisman. This will get us more food possibly in loot. Um, how many hours do I have in Darkest Dungeon according to Steam? I currently have Simple way form. more than I've I have 371. And the denizens of the hamlet so. were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, all turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. Because you're a butthead who ruined everything. And is Marius and Bedon 0023, thank you so much for the follow. I do appreciate it. I the do, smell I do. Of sulfur. And gunpowder. Oh, there's that scout the right away. The war machine is close. Alright, so boss is always gonna be in the closest area. Ah, oh, you jerk faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boss could be either in this location or this one. This is part of the reason that I brought the grave robber with the um Raider's Talisman. The hope is if we keep our light high enough, once we get over to this area, we can get enough scout chances to show us where the boss is. Because this is one of those teams we're going to have to camp before the boss. Oh, you dingus. Finally, I get my hands on an authentic Eldritch sample. But we're going to want to camp before the boss instead of after. There are plenty of bosses where I camp after so we can have a perfect run. You know, do down our stress afterward, everything like that. With this team, we're going to have to make sure we're at full health, low stress, and have as many buffs on us as possible. Pardon my reach. Um, I don't know about that. I mean, I have experience with the game, but it's certainly not enough. I make a lot of mistakes, and in this one... I feel like I'm already making a huge mistake, and the reason for that is because almost every time I've used an occultist as my main healer, it screws me over. The occultist's healing arc at level 1 is 0 to 12. Currently I've got him leveled to the point where his healing arc, the amount he can heal, is 0 to 14. And, if you're not aware with the occultist, he also has a chance to cause bleed on your people. Now, the, it's not a problem for your most normal characters, because they have a decent bleed resistance. And you can affect that with trinkets. The leper, on the other hand, has very low bleed resistance. So... Just a little bit worried about that. I've had several times so far where an occultist has healed someone for zero. <sighs> And then cause the bleed on them, which killed them. So, Destroy them all. You can always use more experience. You chose the left route? Well, you should ask Moobot. Come on. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. All right, Moobot agrees. This expedition nice! A Bee Slayer ring. Here, I'll take that. Well, that's not the greatest thing ever, though. It's not bad. A lot of the enemies here get affected by it, but a lot don't. 
All right, I'm changing my mind immediately. This, I should have brought holy water. I put two in my shopping cart and then went, so. That's, that is, that is Marius, and I'm sorry if I'm killing your name, feel free to correct me, but that's how I feel also. Because that's always what people counter me if with. They're just like, yeah, but the flow of an occultist the can get like a 40 point heal. And the most I've had was like a 50 plus point heal with an occultist as a crit. Just a massive crit. Just, oh my god. But the drawback is I've had plenty of times where he's done zero. I simply must know what is within. Disease! Disease is within! Oh, or nothing. Hey, babe, what you got? Part one? What am I eating? Oh, good lord, what is this? Brains! Thanks! Destroyed. Think I'm done with you? Hardly. So nice. That prevents us from taking all of this blight damage because we are just moved around. Ah! Always, always groping the Helions. What the heck, man? Unacceptable! Which is why, and I've made this argument before, and I mean, if I had to choose between, like, an antiquarian or an occultist for a fight, there's a decent chance, depending on which fight it is, I might choose the Antiquarian as my main healer instead of an Occultist. If you put the right items on them at higher levels, you can probably get like a reliable like 6 to 8 HP heal on an um, Antiquarian. I would rather have a reliably mediocre amount of healing than the chance of a zero point heal. What is the new DLC? Is it a new character in a vampire dungeon? The Crimson Court? I don't know yet. I don't think it's been revealed. Now, I'm pretty sure it has been revealed that there is going to be a character, a new hero, but they're being pretty tight-lipped about what exactly is being released. It does seem to be a vampire-themed one. Um, in the teaser image they had for it, if I remember correctly, if anyone has a link to it, you can post it, but... Um, I believe it was like a Victorian age woman with a fan over her mouth. You could see like the silhouette of like a mosquito or something. And, and then of course, eldritch abominations <laughs> all over the place, but, but you just can't get away from those, can you? Anywhere you go, abominations. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Well, as I tell people, the two things I do while streaming that I feel are the, by far the hardest things to do, the first one is coming up with a title. And very closely behind that is pronouncing people's names. Now, I'm used to that. I, I go to plenty of other Twitch channels when I'm at work and stuff, you know. I Don't tell my boss, but no, I, I you know, watch streamers when I'm able to uh, here and there and on the phone. And, and all the time, my name gets killed. I come to expect it, and you know, it wasn't just on Twitch. Also, when I, you know, played WoW and pick up groups, that was always an interesting one. For some reason, people would look at my name, and instead of going Tyranar, for some reason, a lot of people would just immediately say my name is Thailand. One HP? Are you kidding me? Th All right, we're good. I'm just gonna sit here and eat some beans. We're gonna do a little bit of healing right now with our occultist. Worked out his stress a little bit. She can work on stunning them. The reason I'm kind of waiting or giving him a chance to heal when it's not dire right now is I'm just. I'm way too afraid of once we're actually in a clutch situation, the occultist just blowing it. See, we don't need that much HP, so inevitably he's gonna heal a lot. If I let him get lower than that, he's gonna heal one, two, zero. And of course, with a uh, leper, I kind of expect the bleed. If I'm not mistaken, I think lepers have the lowest bleed resist without um, 